Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Imagine you could set up Wi-Fi provisioning and quickly connect your IoT device to any Wi-Fi access point without having to write any code. Well, thankfully, the Blink IoT platform allows us to do this, and in this quick tutorial, we'll be showing you how to get set up in a matter of just a few steps. Today, we'll be using the Blink Edgent solution specifically, where we can get set up within a matter of minutes with pre-built examples in the Arduino IDE, as you can see here. For those of you who don't know, Blink is a versatile and user-friendly IoT platform that empowers individuals and developers to effortlessly create mobile applications to control and monitor various devices like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and other devices. Blink simplifies the process of connecting these devices to the internet, as we will show in this video, and it's overall an excellent tool for creating smart home projects, automation, and IoT prototypes. Best of all, it's free to get started. Now, Wi-Fi provisioning with Blink Edgent offers benefits to IoT manufacturers who want to speedify time to market. This includes benefits such as a no-code solution, as we mentioned in the first part of the video, where you don't have to write any code. You simply have to upload code to your device as an IoT manufacturer. Secondly, it's extremely easy for the client who receives the device to activate it and start using Wi-Fi on the device. And third, you can change Wi-Fi access point at any time. So if the client moves locations and they want to use a device on another network, it is very easy to do. In order to follow along, you will need a smartphone with the Blink IoT app installed. Secondly, you will need an active Wi-Fi connection to test the results we are getting today. You will also need Arduino IDE installed on your computer. However, you can use platform IO as well. In addition to that, you do need a Blink account, which as we mentioned, is free to get started and incredibly easy to set up. And we will be using an ESP32 microcontroller for today's example. However, do not be alarmed if you do not have an ESP32 specifically, as Blink Edgent supports many other boards, as you can see here, along with other dual MCU boards, which we will potentially discuss in a future video. So if you have any of the other devices, you can follow along just fine, and we are continuously working to add other boards. So don't be discouraged if you do not see your device in this list, as this video can be useful for educational purposes. So enough being said, let's jump straight into it now that we understand the background. First, by demonstrating the workflow on the IoT manufacturer side of things to enable Wi-Fi provisioning on the device before we send it to the client. Okay, so in order to enable Wi-Fi provisioning, we're just gonna follow along with these convenient and clear steps that Blink provides for us here. This documentation will be linked down in the description below for your reference, along with other needed documentation for this video. So the first step is to simply create a Blink template, a blank template in Blink console. So let's just go ahead and go to our Blink console. So you should be able to go in once you have an account. And we're just gonna go to templates on the left there and create a new template. And the name we're just going to put today is Wi-Fi provisioning demo with the appropriate hardware and the appropriate connection type. And we can leave the description empty. The second step is to go to the Arduino IDE or the platform IO IDE and install the Blink library. In this case, we are using the Arduino IDE, which I already have open. And we could just go to the library manager, search Blink, and it should be the first one. I already have it installed by Vladimir Shimanowski. So just go ahead and click install. So once you have that, we're ready two points down pretty quick. We can open the Blink Edge example for the device in the IDE. So for Arduino, we can just go to File, Examples, Blink, Blink Edge, and select the board example. So if we did install the library, we can just go to File, Examples, and we can go down to Blink, Blink Edge, and Edge ESP32. Okay. So this is all the code we need to enable Wi-Fi provisioning on the manufacturer side. We don't have to write anything awesome. And so the only thing they need us to do actually is to uncomment these two lines and replace the placeholders with your template ID and template name. So if we created a template, you can just go ahead and get it from here. And we could just go and copy those in. So we can just paste that. And so that is the fourth step so we have one more step for the manufacturer side, and that is to simply compile and upload this to our device. So that is the last step I have to do as a manufacturer before I send it to the client. So let's just go ahead and first of all, open the serial monitor just for debugging purposes. And let me move this here. And we are going to upload this to the device. So it should take a moment. I've done this before. It does take about a minute or so. So once it's done uploading, we will jump to that section 
and discuss what is next. Okay, awesome. Looks like our script uploaded successfully after waiting a moment there. So you should see something similar in your console log if yours uploaded successfully as well. So that being said, we are done with step number five. We are done with the manufacturer side of things. So now let's jump into the, the final step, which is step number six, which is the customer experience side of things and see how it looks on their side once they retrieve the device from the manufacturer and connect to Wi-Fi with the device. Okay, so jumping into the customer experience side of things, imagine I am the customer and I retrieve the device from the manufacturer after it has been Wi-Fi enabled. So it is plugged in and I do have Wi-Fi in the vicinity and I do have the Blink IoT app installed as you can see here, which I'm sharing the screen and the console log. So we'll see two things going on at the same time here. So per the last step, per the documentation, is to simply select add device and select find devices nearby. So we're going to do that, start, a very nice and seamless experience. And we're just going to select join there. So just give it a brief moment again. And it is getting device info. So per the console log, we should see some updates there. Okay, so sending board info, which it did, which is nice. And it already remembers my Wi-Fi network, which is convenient in the app. So I don't have to put in my complicated password. And I'm just going to select continue. And once this is done, we should be done from the client side of things and our device should be connected. So let's just give it a moment and awesome, it is done. So it looks like we were able to connect our IoT device using the app to the internet with the Blink Edgent Wi-Fi provisioning solution. So if you made it up to this point, give yourself a pat on the back. So there you have it. We have showed you how to enable Wi-Fi provisioning in this video using the Blink Edgent solution all within six simple steps demonstrating the experience on the manufacturer side and the client side and how seamless it really is. Once again, the documentation related to this video will be linked down below. We hope you enjoyed the solution and the video and stay tuned for future videos regarding other Blink products and solutions. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comment section down below as well. Stay tuned, take it easy, and thanks for watching.